Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus. The message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to uh, check out any of my services, they're all located down below in the description box. Just go ahead and click on the website link and yeah, you can subscribe your email there. That way you'll always get email notifications every time whatever my availability opens up or anything like that. Also, what else was I going to say? Oh, you can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. I just post more things on quantum physics, crazy things I play around with alchemically over there. So if you decide to jump over, just know that occasionally I do get scammers. Um, so here's my little protocol. If you get a follow request from an account posing to be me, that's your first red flag. So if that happens, you can always check the description box down below for reference to all my social media links. I have nothing other than what's listed down below. Also, I will never DM you for personal readings, money, or donations of any kind. So if anything like that pops up in your little reality over there, just block and report, all good to go. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. This looks amazing. So, first of all, you have release, all right? This feels pretty quick as far as there are things being released right now. You could be going through an emotional release or releasing relationships. It could be a multitude of things like that. Whatever is releasing from you right now, totally opening up a new chapter because look at this you have the maiden of wands some of you guys that could be a person that you are releasing and then we have the magician so there could have been some deceptiveness here someone could have been deceptive um but we have the sun card there's a gemini virgo there could be a fire sign involved here but oh the sun is like <laughs> illumination okay like wow are you completely like in the know about something um and then there's the full card opening up some kind of new chapter all right looks pretty positive as far as what could open up but i've been saying this too you have this visioning some of you guys um okay i have heard this I, there's another person that I've re I've heard readings from that said that like Taurus is also associated with the high priestess which I found kind of interesting that they're like highly intuitive so some of you guys I don't know if this totally applies like this could be something here where you receive visions or you get like visions of things there could be something piecing together at this time so some of you guys like it, it could be in dreams or it could be that sometimes you catch like a taste of a reality that's like opening up in some way it's like you you get pieces of the vision that's unfolding in some way do you know what i mean it's kind of interesting but it's like the more that you're in this high vibration of the sun something could be coming clear to you like a path so um again the sun is like things are being illuminated for you so you might be feeling as though s something is coming together at this time you might not know exactly what it looks like at the com like full thing it might m even be in like brainstorming phase because it's it's like it's coming in in pieces but it feels pretty like you're making progress on something you might also feel kind of excited because something is getting taken care of. Even though you have this release, it actually might be a good thing. This might feel in the moment that you're like really whatever feeling emotionally about it. Some of you guys, it could be kind of negative. But once you come out of it, you feel like a renewal or energized or enthusiastic in some way and that's what happens so there could be releases happening for you kind of on a consistent basis or just regularly yeah there it is there's the tower at the very beginning yes <laughs> so whatever is unexpected coming in it's yeah it's like 
it is being released for your highest good. All right. I know that when you're in the midst of it, it's like holy shiz because you feel like everything is pretty much just restructuring at this time. So hermit, some of you guys, there could be Virgo energy involved here, but it might be like good time for self-reflection and spending enough time with yourself because answers, there's the beginning of the illumination that's going to come in is like, okay, there's the realization coming in there. Oh, and there's the will for, oh my gosh, we have the will of fortune and the six of rods. Wow. Um, so you've got a victory coming in. Yeah, that's amazing. So it's like, whatever this tower is, you're going to either be restored in some way you're gonna be the one that has a victory so if you're kind of the one that maybe something wrong was even done to you or some kind of trickery or deception you're it's not gonna pull you down someone could have tried to it's not gonna do anything to you like you're pretty much just you're still going strong let's see oh but you might cut them out or block them two of swords let's see there's a person that might have tried to I don't know if you know of this Taurus let's see we have the ace of cups right there that's delightful all right <laughs> new love could be coming in and then what are these cards oh oh <laughs> so we have the nine of swords the lovers and the knight of pentacles it feels like to me that there's a connection that you might be stressed about or there's a person here that's stressed about you just fyi i don't know i'm kind of getting that there's a person here that like might know or see see you struggling or like working very hard to get a victory in a situation especially this tower energy whatever came in it might have been kind of unexpected or like these shocking shifts that were coming in there's a person here that could be like kind of stressed this person has a lot of like love for you Okay, or feels like some kind of strong bond for you or with you. It feels like this person is kind of stressed or going through a kind of restless about like the path ahead or what needs to be done or the progress or something like that. Maybe it's monetary stuff, but it could be the rebuild that this person is like, whoa, you know, maybe that, but everything's going to be fine. You have, you have amazing cards that are coming in to support everything. So it's like, yes, keep an optimistic point of view. Just stay as positive as possible and trust that there's like a new path that's going to be open up for you and you will have what you need. So some of you guys, yeah, this might be you don't know what's beyond typical, but you're going into a new chapter and wow is it time for change i can't believe the wheel of fortune came in too so um here's what i'll tell you too about this combination okay this is really fascinating when you genuinely legitimately come into the sun card like when you actually authentically raise your vibration and you're in just like a positive perspective every single energy that was like that's not a match to that will start shaking literally and that's where the tower moments come in and that's where it can feel a little bit this two of swords almost feels like a little bit confusing and this nine of swords almost feels kind of like stressing about coming into a high vibration or about a connection. I don't know what it is. There's a person here that there could be a little bit of mental health stuff going on here, like anxiety about a connection or about like um, a relationship. But here's what I was, sorry, here's what I was saying. It can 
kind of feel a little bit confusing for a bit when you come into a high vibration and then like what appears to be bad things are happening it's not really bad things it's that everything is now aligning all the relationships and even your environment starts aligning with this new version of yourself that you're coming into that's like so positive so that's why the tower moments start coming in because it's like everything that was this match to the old version of yourself will just start like falling away crumbling away and it starts kind of exposing those shadowy little anxieties or stresses that you had but you had denied them you kind of like put them to the side or didn't like take care of them now they're going to be kind of coming up to the surface but just fyi this ace of cups is showing me too that new energies are going to come in and present themselves that are in this love energy so keep that that vibration going of like i love i love um things are always working out for me and solutions will come in people will present paths and ideas for you to go on and it will slowly unfold the pieces of what's to come together that vision that i was seeing at the beginning like it's it's like coming in in pieces is like a a puzzle piece in your mind like the vision so write it down if you guys get like things visions or like smells this is a weird thing too like if you smell a place or you have like random pictures that pop in like write it down or try to draw it or something if some of you guys are artistic because it's literally like some type of reality is in the stages of coming together it's actually pretty exciting something really cool is unfolding here so I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I'm going to dive into the extended, see if there's anything else that wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link. I'll see you over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.